Hi guys and welcome back to another Dot Race video and today we're going to be playing Ride 4. We're going to be using the MV Augusta Super Veloce 800 and boy let me tell you this bike is phenomenal. I love it so much. This is like a retro but modern fusion bike which uh, if I just made the wrong corner there almost. And the reason I'm so baffled at the minute is because wow doesn't that bike look good. But I had planned on doing like a top 10 bikes of 2020 that I really like, or top 5 bikes. This is all of Ride 4 of course, that I've used in the games. And this bike has just come in and blown the doors right off the list. And now I'm not so sure if this deserves a spot, or if it doesn't deserve a spot, or do I need to rejig the entire list. Let me know if that's something you want to see, because I have been planning to do that for a while, talk about my favourite bikes, maybe my least favourite bikes. But wow, this bike... This this has got to have a place in the top 10 at least. You know, whether it's going to be a top 5 bikes, top 10, I'm not sure. Let me know, but that has been Snetterton. Absolutely beautiful bike and a beautiful track. A great combination, with also a beautiful helmet. So moving on now to a 5 lap Grand Prix in the French Riviera. We're going to be starting from 6th place. Usually the optimal start for these career mode cups. We drag around the outside of the Indian and not quite around the outside of Ray and Andrews but well, we will make that move and whether the opportunity is there of course it's not there just quite yet let's go around the outside beautiful but ever so close to touching the barrier there we have to be careful of that on a track I'm not fully confident in but at the same time it, it's a track that I've used in the past from ride 2 uh, even ride 1 and ride 3 and even Ducati 90th anniversary game whatever the hell that was was it called Ducati 90th Anniversary? I don't remember. There's another old classic spin-off to ride. Came out, oh God, a long time ago now, I would say. But we are ahead by a whopping second. I did find that the AI, or this bike, one or the other, or probably a combination of them both, the AI just did not keep up at all on this one. I don't think they keep up with the most of the times, but uh, this time they also didn't keep up. As I run it way too wide into turn six. A pingle a gauche. I have no idea if I pronounced that right, but I went for it anyway. So I hope you're well. It's Christmas spirit, so of course. Christmas Eve at the time this video will be uploaded. Hope you're all ready for Christmas. Got two videos planned for Christmas Day. So stick around for the morning and then stick around for the evening. I don't think I've already discussed what videos I'm going to be doing, but if not. I am doing a endurance race and the other one will just be a normal ah, surprise video, let's say. It's going to be something a little bit different. As we flick it right for turn 13. And we'll eye up turn 14. Belvedere. Pretty nicely done so far. Now, this track is one of those tracks that um, I don't pick, personally. I'll, I'll do it if it's in career mode, but I wouldn't usually pick it myself. Just not a massive fan of the old road style tracks. I much prefer circuits, uh, classic Grand Prix tracks etc. But hey, we are here doing the New Generation Cup. So of course it's part of the mission, if you will. But uh, this Super Veloce, my goodness, I, I'm so pleased with it. You know, we paid what, four quid for the DLC pack? With uh, quite a few other bikes. The R1M, the R1EM. Of course I did quite a few videos on that one I'm still not a fan of. But the Triumph Daytona 765 Mojo 2. And now moving on to the Super Veloce. A bloody brilliant selection of bikes. I must say I am quite pleased as we run a little bit too wide here into turn 3. And absolutely rocket ourselves off into oblivion. There's a first crash in quite a while in these uh, Doctor Ace videos. But I am human. I do make mistakes. And there it is caught on camera. No editing. <laughs> what you've seen was real. I definitely made a mistake. So into Rochi, turn four. We do have quite a bit of catching up to do now with three seconds of drift from the race leader, Cedric Mallet, or Malay, I guess, if they're French. So probably better to pronounce it. Of course, ride four, absolutely loving it still. Uh, the update since it's, it's, it has improved, I think. Uh, it's not as bad as what the original update was. So I'm still having a lot of fun. I've uh, got MXGP videos I'm trying to fit in. I don't think the MXGP videos are as good as the Ride 4 videos, so I am kind of holding off. 
with the MXGP, but let me know in the comment section below what you want to see more of. Do you want to see more Ride 4? Do you want to see more MXGP? Or do you even want to see some MotoGP 20 back again? Uh, currently, of course, I'm just really happy to be playing Ride 4. We're not far away from the World Superbike Leagues and the Endurance Mode Leagues. So, of course, stick around for those. I do want to try and tackle some of the longer Endurance Modes. But I do fear that you guys probably won't enjoy them or you probably won't want to watch the, all of it. Because I had considered maybe doing two hours or maybe three hours in the uh, endurance mode. I do believe there's some ridiculous ones like eight hours and 24 hours and I don't think I'll be able to do. It, it's, it wouldn't be just doing the race, it'd be then having to record all the audio for it afterwards. would be really crazy as we make a bloody big move there. Quite a cheeky lunge upon Finley Cooper. I don't think he'll be impressed with that one, but hey-ho, we're through and we're on our way to attacking the leaders for the podium positions. So we just need to squeeze through one more there, as we do pretty nicely on Andrews. Now we are in third place, eyeing up an opportunity to step higher on the rostrum. Which, of course, with Cedric Mallet and Suraj Pandey. So you hold the throttle there. Beautiful corner to try and practice throttle control there, because you can't go full throttle. But you can just slow it down gently and just hold what you've got. As, as you can see, that bump there in turn three, it's, oh, it catches you off guard, doesn't it? It's going to go around the outside here of Malay. Potentially begin to line up Pande. Just waiting for the right opportunity. As he runs it a bit deep there. We're going to go around the outside. Beautifully done. And we are back in the lead, rocking the Red Bull Dr. Ace helmet. I do plan on doing some more helmets soon. I actually really, really enjoy doing the helmets and liveries. I think most of the time I end up creating a new livery. And it's just something really enjoyable to my mind. I think it's just really peaceful and relaxing. It's just nice. But of course, guys, as well, uh, I wanted to mention, if you do have any questions for me that is not related to MXGP, Ride 4, or any of the other videos I do, uh, if you just want to know more about me, of course, let me know in the comment section below. I'm more than happy to talk to you guys. I want to make a little friendly community for everyone to join in on. So, of course, if you do want to ask me a few questions, go ahead. As we make massive contact in turn seven. Oh, contact again! Oh, God. They didn't care for my heartfelt message to the fans. They wanted to get me off the track. Of course, we don't care for that aggression here, as David Bowie would say in fashion. Do that over there, because we don't do it here. <laughs> Bit of a retro song for you there. As we now eye go bear up not confident on making a lunge in any of these particular corners. Gonna have to wait for more to the end of the straight. Much past Belvedere and maybe turn 16 perhaps. So we get managed to get a great drive here coming out to turn 15. It's pretty decent, but we're gonna have to be very brave on the brakes if we want to make a lunge up into turn 16. As we approach this penultimate lap. The Suzanne Go Bear a little bit in the way there, so we're gonna go around the outside. I will rather inside, I guess, for this nature of this corner. And then we're going to throw it in front of Suraj. And now we are in the podium positions again. Rear tyre is taking quite a bit of battering there. It's on 39% on this penultimate lap of the French Riviera. Thiago Aguilar down in 10th. Nathan Hammer 11th. And Franco Blanchett from the back of the grid. Haven't seen those so far. Not seen Johnny Glamour in a while, have we? Shout out to Johnny Glamour in the chat. <laughs> I love saying that as if I'm not... I used to say that I was streaming, like, shout out to this in the chat, but for some reason I still say it. I'm still stuck in that mode. I haven't streamed in quite a while, actually, to be honest, but uh, if it's something you want to see, let me know, of course. It's hard for me to stream compared to what I used to with all this content creation, but still. I'm more than happy to give it another go. As we now lead. Since the second lap, I think it was. Yeah, the second lap was the last time we led, we led this Grand Prix. So now... We're back in front, just holding the throttle nicely around that corner there. Got to be careful touching the wall, of course. But I am very keen to do a time trial with the Super Veloce. I don't know whether it's going to be as fast as some of the other bikes to get world record pace. And I haven't even upgraded this bike, to be honest with you. The only thing I did was remove the mirrors and give it Bridgestone tyres, and that was pretty much it. I left it pretty much stock, same as what I did with the Triumph Daytona, as we go a little bit wide there in Turn 7. Be careful of the bumps and then getting on the rumble strip. Don't really want to be doing that. Take a quick glance behind. Another bit of stutter there as well, unfortunately. Still getting quite a few stutter issues, but still running at a solid... Well, usually locked at 120, 120 frames per second. Varies here. 
every now and again. I think it already dropped down a little bit. It's a shame it doesn't support 144 hertz. The max this game does is 120 for some strange reason. Of course, if you're on console, you don't really need to worry about that, but that's more of a PC thing. We are beginning to open a gap. Now, turn 16 can be a bit of a treacherous one if you don't get it right, and I'm not going to get it right here. Run it in way too hot, and I want very bouncy there, so you've got to be very careful if you're going to run it in too hot there. A lot of these corners are like this on this road track. You have to be very careful. Most of the main, the main bulk of the track is flat. But you have to be very careful when you do run off into those would-be runoff areas. There's no pit here either. Just noticing that now as I went across. We are on the final lap of this five-lap French Riviera race. Pretty nice race so far. We're absolutely throttling it around these corners, though. That was full throttle there. Did not think that was going to actually last, but it did. We are going to give it a little bit of front brake here just to make sure we don't collapse in that little bit of a bump. Because, uh, believe me, that has happened way too many times before. And it would pain me, absolutely pain me, to crash on the Super Veloce again. You know, no bike should ever be harmed, and I would feel terrible for harming this Veloce once again. It's so rocking the Revit le leathers here, and it's funny those leathers, because, you know, they look like they're absolutely filthy. But it's just the way the red and the black are combined. Chucks on the Kevin Schwantz boots as well, I think they are. Rocking the Doc Drace helmet and a few other of the Alpine, size, Alpine Stars gloves and boots. And we are approaching turn six. The Eppingal Augosh. I really hope I'm pronouncing that right. I'm giving it all. My, I'm doing my best as we go. Oh, bit of a drift there for you as well. Got a bit bored on this race, I think, towards the end, so I decided to go for a few drifts. Now, I did that yesterday, and I think it's going to be in perhaps tomorrow's video. I don't recall. It's in one of the videos. But <laughs> I ended up just drifting just for fun. Killed the rear tyre though, absolutely killed it. It's going to run it really wide there, but we very close to hitting the wall. I mean, we're on a three second gap as it is, but we would have been with the minus gap there. Well, plus eight to Ray and Andrews. Andrews got back into the second place. Seems to always finish second place behind me. Must be getting frustrated with finishing. Being the bridesmaid and not the bride, let's say. But we will cross this treacherous corner once again of the embranchment. And finally, we can accelerate towards the finish line as another victory as another victory beckons Dr. Ace. As we now cross the line as victories. As victors once again. So guys, as always, thank you very much for watching. Bloody love this Super Veloce and I bloody love you guys too. So if you enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Ciao for now.